So, everybody has those Pokemon in all the games that they literally just cannot stand whatsoever. So, here are my top 10 least favorite Pokemon. At number 10, it's Rattata. Now you may be thinking, why Rattata? It's one of the first Pokemon you can get in the game. You can actually be really useful if you want him to. But, yeah, I, I hate him. I cannot stand Rattata. I've never found an actual use for him. He never actually melded well with anything that I actually wanted to use him for, so I just never got the actual want to have him. So he basically became a useless rat that just kept following me around and would never leave me alone when I wanted to go back through the original stuff. So that's why he's number 10 on this list. There you go. Number 9 is Ladybug. Um, I'm gonna be honest here, I hate bug Pokemon. Seriously, I don't like the type whatsoever. It's just not something that I enjoy. And when Ladybug just looks really weird, I mean, this is gonna sound really dumb to put him on a li ten list of my least top 10 favorite Pokemon. Top 10 least favorite Pokemon, there you go. But yeah, I just, I can't stand his design whatsoever. And he's just not good at all. I hate him. I seriously, I've never seen him used in competition, never seen it used anywhere that would actually make it useful or anything at all. That's why he's number nine. Yeah. Number eight, I feel like a lot of you guys are going to be mad at me for, but they're unknown. These Pokemon really should not be on the list because they were so cool when you watched the third Pokemon movie. Like seriously, they made them so powerful, so cool. They were alphabet soup. I mean, seriously, they were just cool, and yet in the games, they suck. They're, like, one of the worst Pokemon ever in the games. They're so sucky. I mean, what do you get for catching them all anyway? Most of the games, nothing. If I'm Pearl Platinum, you get Pokeball seals that say their, num their letters, so you can have their letter on the seals. Yeah, spend three hours of my life to get that. Thank you. And number seven is Lotad. It saddens me to put a water type here, even though he's water grass, but I mean, ah, uh, he's just not useful. The grass, the grass type doesn't really help much for him because he doesn't have any good moves either way because it's like they're taking the worst of water and grass and putting it together to make him. That's how I feel about him. It's really bad. I mean, he's weak against most other types, except for fire, which it can help a lot to not get weakness, but, and thunder and some of those other ones, but unless it makes him better for it. I don't see the point of this, and I really just am disappointed in Lotad and his evolution, so that's why he's number six on this list. Number six. Seven. That was seven. Coming in at number six is Tropius. An extremely cool looking Pokemon that nobody ever uses except for Wanna Catch because he looks cool and he has bananas on his face. Basically that. I mean, he's super cool. He doesn't have an evolution, so he can't get those skills. He doesn't have a lot of powerful attacks. Not really good stat base. Not really good anything except for his design is cool. So that's the only reason he's here. Disappointed in him. That's why he's number seven. Okay, no, coming in at number five is Farfetch. We all know this Pokemon. I mean, if you played the original games or any of the games, basically if you played a lot of games, you'll know who Farfetch'd is. He's the first Pokemon you can trade for. It may be useful at the beginning of the game, and then he just gets overpowered by any other freaking bird type, bird type, bird or flying type Pokemon. The fact that Farfetch can't evolve, it really weakens him. It makes him not able to be strong in the late game or any competition or anything like that. So basically, you're wasting a trade right there, and I guess seeing how it's one of the first trades you can get in Pokemon, it kind of really makes me mad at him, and just makes me not like him. That's why he's number five on this list. Purgatot. Sure, I love the idea of putting music in Pokemon because, well, I was a music major until this year, but they're bug types, which automatically makes them rank really low on my list because I hate bug types. On top of that, they're just not good. They're not powerful. They're not interesting. They made their attacks just to form around this idea in which they're music-based Pokemon and not the idea of making them stronger. They're not balanced with most other Pokemon, which makes them super weak, and I just feel it's unfair, and I'm just kind of saddened that I wanted something cool out of music Pokemon. I mean, there's also Chat Top, but let's not get into that. <coughs> but yeah, it stuck.
Number three is Per Ugly. The name says it all. Per Ugly is a perfect example of when puberty goes wrong. It was a cute cat, Glam Meow. I, I kind of didn't already like Glam Meow. I mean, it looked cute and I love cats, but I mean, other than that, it's just not a good fighting Pokemon. Basically, here's the story of how Glam Meow becomes Per Ugly. So, yeah, it'd be a little Glam Meow there. Sitting there, it's like, I'm Glam Meow, and then it walks down the street and finds that pizza place, gets in there, sees all the pizza. There you go, it evolved into Per Ugly. There you go, that's the whole story. It's basically a story of Garfield. Thank you, Nintendo. Coming on number two. Just why? Why does this Pokemon exist? Garborder, a walking, talking, kind of talking, fighting pile of garbage. Why did they come up with this? Were they sitting in the meeting? Just like, okay guys, we need to figure out what we have for the uh, new Pokemon ideas. We need to, uh, hey Gemma, you got any ideas? Oh sure. Andrew walks in. You need to take out the garbage. There he is and, hey, I got an idea. Let's make, make the uh, Pokemon garbage. Ah, uh, it's a wonderful idea. You'll get a promotion and five thousand dollars. Poke dollars, because we don't actually want to pay you. And that's how he's created. Yeah, probably not, but I'm just gonna go with it and you guys are gonna believe it, okay? Yeah. Trash as a Pokemon. And on top of that, he's just not very strong, good, really annoying to fight against, but not really good to fight with, and I guess I just don't like him at all whatsoever. But yeah! And coming in at number one with my uh, least favorite Pokemon whatsoever is Zubat. You all know Zubat. You know the one where you walk into a cave and you fight literally a thousand of them? No exaggeration whatsoever? Yeah, Zubat. The most annoying Pokemon in all of Pokemon. Doesn't leave you alone. If you don't have repels going into caves, it's literally a nightmare for any player. To the degree of annoyingness that literally Nate Wants a Battle in Dookie Shed made a Pokey Rap parody that's literally about this Zubat annoyance. Also gonna be in the link in the description below so you guys can check that out. And uh, yeah, other than that, he's just not good at all whatsoever. Even with Golbat, he's not good and just super annoying and it just adds to the fact that the most annoying Pokemon in all of Pokemon is one of the weaker ones, which makes it just even worse in the list and that's why it sucks. Well, those have been my top 10 least favorite Pokemon. If anybody wants to suggest any other top 10s, do so in the comments below. Tell me your least favorite Pokemon and uh, tell me if I'm wrong because I'm probably going to hear that anyway. So I'm just going to tell you to tell me if I'm wrong. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong, and it's my opinion, not yours. If you haven't already yet, check out my main channel. We're, it's a gaming channel. We do I do games a lot, at least two videos a day for now, maybe more later. And uh, yeah, like if you like and subscribe to Family Armory. See you guys next video. Bye.